Alright guys, welcome back. I've got another question lined up for you guys, which is the question 85 from the second chapter of the Merriam textbook. And in this one, we need to figure out where does the resultant of these two forces act. So we're finding the resultant, we have to find some of all forces in both x and y direction. But if we look at this, we'll see that if we call our x and y in this direction, all of the forces in here are in y direction. So if we want to find some of all forces, basically we have, we can go with some of all forces in y direction. We have 660 minus 680, which will be minus 20 Newton downward and when the question is asking what does the resultant of these two forces act it means that if i want to replace these two with one single force where should that be and in order to figure out the distance that these two forces or this one single force which is the resultant of this is acting so basically we have this force in here which we call it r and we have to figure out this distance which is d in here so how are we going to find that the way we're going to find that is that the sum of all moments about point A has to be equal to the moment of the R in this direction. So as always, we're going to call counterclockwise positive. So the moment of R would be R times D. And this has to be equal to moment of each of these two forces about point A. So if we want to figure that out, we can go with the 680. As we can see, it's a counterclockwise moment. So it's positive. So 680 Newton times the distance. Basically, we have this distance in here, which is 500 plus 300. So 800, we're going to divide by 1000 to get it in meter. And we have the moment of the 660, which is a clockwise moment. So we have a negative sign for that one. So minus 660 and the distance would be what we have from here to here which is 500 divided by a thousand and that would be equal to our r which already know is 20 times t and these what the question is asking or where does the resultant is acting so if you want to calculate this you basically have 680 times 0.8 minus 660 times 0.5 divided by 20 that's going to give us the d let's pull up our calculator so basically we have 680 times 0.8 minus 660 times 0.5 that's going to be 240 divided by 20 and here we can find our d 10.7 it's going to be in meter and as as we can see it's going to be to the left side of the R. So if we want to show the location in here, this will be our R and the D in here would be 10.7 meter. So yeah, that's that's going to be the final answer for this question. Uh, hope you guys find it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment. It's going to help me to reach out to more students and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.